Hey you. I, t- <laughs> <laughs> I totally beat you to it. Man. Hey you. Hey you. I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston, and I am joined by my business partner and fiance, Dorian. Hey you. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to intro this video, please? Do a Hello. better job. <laughs> my name is not Ashley Weston. I am not a celebrity menswear stylist, but I really know one very well. And so today we're talking about how to dress for the heat and the hot weather. Yeah, so we've right. got some easy tips yep. for you to look stylish, but still keep cool and comfortable at the same time. It's a really highly requested video, yes. so I'm glad we're finally checking this one off the list. Uh, so let's get into it, right? Yep. All right. So first, you wanna opt for lightweight fabrics like cotton for your polo shirts, t-shirts, um, your even suiting as well. Yep. And then also linen or linen blends for your suiting, your shorts. Um, gotta be a little careful with linen pants though. Well, linen shirts are a staple, no question. Yep. I pretty much live in those all summer long. And your linen shorts. And linen shorts to some extent. I don't know if I'd yep. only have linen shorts. And I chino prefer, pants. I prefer more chino pants or or uh, chino cloth shorts. Um, but the only caveat is linen pants look really weird and floppy and they can be kind of sheer and no one wants to see that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but those are the definitely the fabrics you should lean towards. I think linen shirts, no question, and polo oh, shirts 100%. like I'm wearing. I am basically live in these all, all summer and most of spring as well and they're very comfortable. Before we get into the next point, you definitely have some of your top picks for polo shirts, linen shirts, and things like oh, that. Yeah. So we'll link those in the description below. Forgot to include that because there are some really good versions and there's some really bad versions. So you want to be careful to avoid some of those. But the next point though, right? The next point is a straw hat, which is very important because it'll just help protect your face as well as your head from the sun, from heat. It'll keep you cooler. So this is something that you live by tremendously. This is my like. this is my Bible during the yeah. summertime. I basically just wear it all day. No, uh, a wide <laughs> a wide brim straw hat. Um, maybe you think it might not look good on you. It probably will for the most part. Mm-hmm. I used to think that it didn't look good on me either. And then I saw some pictures and was like, okay, I can pull it off. But really it's much more of a utilitarian item being pale and pear skinned. The sun and I aren't the best of friends. So I do anything I can to avoid it as much as possible. And especially if you've got thin or thinning hair as well. A hat, no question, is gonna help. And a straw hat just looks a little classier and a little elevated than like a baseball yes. cap. So we've included our favorite ones in yep. the description below. Check it out. Uh, the next point is that color choice will matter, especially during the warmer times of the year. Um, if you're walking around in blacks and dark blues, even this might be a little bit of a darker blue to some extent. It depends on where you're at. I've been in Southeast Asia wearing a dark blue. Mm. Dark colors yeah. absorb heat. <laughs> yes really absorb it. You wanna go with light colors. They bounce back light and heat. They yep. keep you cooler. Yep. So. Uh, uh, heat is from light being absorbed into your clothing. So the darker the color, the more absorption it has, the more heat it generates. So whites, tans, lighter blues. Pastel. Pastel colors, any, any lighter color will be much more preferable. You can get away with darker colors if you're not in like a sweltering heat, but definitely the hotter it gets, the lighter the color should be, no question. The next thing is to get yourself some breathable footwear. So you wanna go with either canvas or a cotton material. Um, Saludos makes fantastic breathable low profile shoes. You can also go with some loafers like driving mocks. Slip-ons even. Yeah, like any kind of slip-on shoe is always gonna be breathable. Also just like a canvas sneaker too is gonna be very breathable as well. Yep. The next way to look stylish and still beat the heat or stay as cool as possible is to wear some lightweight layers. Um, you know, we talked about wearing uh, cotton or linens earlier. Actually, the more layers you wear, the cooler you are, unless you're wearing dark colors, that's where that goes wrong. Uh, but lighter colors and lighter fabrics um, actually trap in cool um, air between your body. There's a reason the Bedouins in the desert wear lots and lots of layers and they're not wearing black, they're wearing white or different shades of lighter colors for that because it traps in cooler air and you actually won't be as hot as you think. I would highly suggest you give it a try. I feel right? like we get a lot of comments from people when we have more, I would say summer, spring, summer related videos. And they complain and about they, layering. Yeah, they. you guys complain. Some of you all complain <laughs> about layering and how like, you live in a hot place that's not conducive to 
to where you live. You and I both have family in Texas yes. and I can wear a linen sport coat there and not be drenched in sweat. Yes. More so than if I wore a regular sport coat in like a colder climate. Yeah. The so, key, the key is the fabric yes. and then the lightness of the color. We really wanted to include this point because it's very important. You layering Try will it. actually keep you cooler, I promise. Yep. And the final piece to add to your warm weathered wardrobe is, well, before we get into that, if you've been enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and hit that bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video. All right, let's tell them the final one. I don't think you guys would have thought about this, so it's gonna be very interesting. That is, add some shorts to your wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? It may seem really thought? obvious, but there are a couple things that you really need to look um, for in shorts and you really wanna nail down the fit. And lucky for you, we did a whole in-depth video regarding shorts. Um, and so we'll link that in the description below. I included some of my favorite ones out there at all different price points. So definitely be sure to check that out. But uh, yeah. One caveat there with shorts. You, if you're gonna need to wear an outfit in the morning all the way into the evening time, probably don't wanna go with shorts because it reads a little amateur, a little boyish. Um, when you're wearing, uh, for a night out, you're wearing shorts. Um, it also I, just doesn't look right I was so just, wearing so it just, in the evening. Yeah, so just default to chino pants in that respect. I think that's it though, right? That's it, that's cool. all we got. So those are our easy tips for looking stylish and staying cool and comfortable in warm weather. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Bye.